but what if I went riding every day for a whole month? How much do you think my endurance would improve? Would I be able to stay motivated for a whole 30 days? And would I still love mountain biking by the end of it all? Well, I guess there really is only one way to find out. <sighs> Day 15. And I think it's fair to say that although last week ended with a bang, it wasn't a particularly positive one. Gotta go slow here. Because it was... Oh. 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 Deary me. What was I saying? Gotta go slow. Because there's a bit of a path missing. Oh. I think I'm okay. We're going to keep today pretty local. I'm super thankful that I haven't really sustained any serious injuries from yesterday's accident. But for those of you following on Kamut, I'm afraid there's going to be no Kamut for today's ride because I'm going to a secret trail in a bit of forest that I know. See whether it's still clear, whether it's still rideable. Who knows? Day 16 and hail the weather lords. Back out on a proper ride after Thursday's tumble and we're going to go and try out the only official mountain bike trail that I can cycle to from home. But before we get there I've got this tricky little test of my nerve. See, we just put Thursday behind us. There you go. It's Lake Zurich down there. And kind of around the corner, can't really see it properly. Over there somewhere is Zurich. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. The trail tracker is back in the room. Day 17 and welcome back to winter. So how was Simon today? God only knows what motivated him to come out with me on a day like today. But I'm thankful. Oh Jesus, this is terrible. No traction. That is twice as hard to climb as normal. Oh, my wheel's not even spinning anymore. There's so much snow on it. Just getting stuck in the mud, God. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh. Welcome to day 18. A day that can only be described as truly disgusting. I honestly think this is the first day I haven't felt better about it once I'm out on the bike. It's horrible. Deary me. Look at the state of it. Well, I'm not giving up. We're still going to go and ride the trail. Whoa! That is lethal. Oh my God. Oh. oh, I can't see anything again. 
Oh, look at the state of me. I look more like a bike riding bloody snowman with completely fogged up glasses. That, ladies and gentlemen, is minging. Wah. Day 19. And as you good ladies and gentlemen of YouTube can see, it is still snowing. So I have decided to embrace the situation in the best way I know how. With an e-bike. That is terrifyingly slippy and terrifyingly close to a massive drop. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Jeepers creepers. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Note to self. Bridges are slippery today. That is probably 100% deadly. Yes. <laughs> Day 20. And welcome to my quest to ride at least one new trail every day of this 30 day challenge. Nah, that is never going to work. There's too much snow and the trail is too flat. I think I might have invented a new sport. It's called mountain bike pushing. I think it might catch on. Let me explain to you how this exciting new sport works. So first things first, make sure you take a completely normal bike. This is really important because if you bring an e-bike, there is every possibility that you might be able to power through the snow and that would just ruin the push. Next thing you need to do is to find yourself a hill that is so covered in snow, it is clearly impassable. This is where some of you might make a mistake. You might be tempted to turn back, but again, if you turn back, you're just gonna not get the pleasure of the push. And then all you need to do is ride as far as you can and then push. This is one of the best pushes I've had in years. So gnarly. So for those of you that think you've mastered the push, there's another advanced technique you can add in to make it even more exciting. It's called the carry. Oh. After a wonderful push and an amazing carry, Fortunately, the fun's all over, and all we've got left is the descent. Ooh. 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 This is wild! This is Frosty the Snowman, and that was day 20. Day 21, and I'm fairly confident it's not going to snow today. So I've decided that mountain bike pushing isn't all it's cracked up to be. And I've brought the e-bike out in the hope I can find enough traction to plow through the snow. Well, oh, there's some grip under there somewhere. Not much, but there is some. It's certainly really pretty when everything's covered in snow. That you cannot deny. That is the perfect moment to stand back and appreciate the beauty. Lovely. Changed my mind. Mountain bike pushing's back in. That was hard work. All this effort has been to get to the top of this trail, which I half hope is gonna be rideable. All right, let's give it a go. That is good. And that's how deep the snow was. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. 
If you liked it, it'd be great if you gave it a thumbs up and it'd be awesome if you subscribed. As always, thanks for coming along, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.